Live from San Jose, California, it's The Cube at the Adaptive Flash Launch. Brought to you by Nimble Storage. Now here are your hosts, John Furrier and Stu Miniman. I'm John Furrier, with my co-host Stu Miniman. We're here live at Nimble Storage for our exclusive product announcement. Um, Stu, Nimble Storage, uh, big product launch with a uh, large part of the market in storage in the mid-market really exploding. A lot of folks focusing on the high end, talking about all flash. This is a hybrid approach. What's your take before we get into the announcement? Yeah, John, so you know, Nimble's been a fun company to watch. If you look, you know, we, we, we've been, uh, you know, talking about storage on theCUBE since, since our first show at EMC World in 2010. Uh, talked to all the storage players and you know, where is the innovation? What, what, what's really driving change in storage? Uh, and th there were a few IPOs and a couple of them stumbled and Nimble's going strong. So good revenue year over year, uh, good differentiation in their product line and uh, excited to see what they're going to talk. We've got, got some of their customers on, uh, got, got some of the executives on and uh, you know, good things to do. We've been covering the flash market storage obviously for a very long time. Obviously the converged infrastructure is the hottest thing on the planet right now. You're seeing success at many levels where performance, cost per uh, gigabyte, and also throughput are, are huge issues. And it seems that not, not one, no one trick pony kind of wins the game. So I want to get your take on the competitive landscape, specifically around the, the competition, right? We're seeing a lot of folks focusing on the high end, uh, exclusively looking at transactions. Okay, that's great, but as Flash goes mainstream as, as a utility, as, as a technology, what's the implications for just normal mid-market enterprises. Sure, John, so, so as we know, the enterprise tends to move a little slow. So if we look back to the founding of Nimble, uh, you have people that came from NetApp, people that came from Data Domain, building new storage efficiency architectures using things like you know thin provisioning and compression and flash to really change the economics. So rather than kind of the old way with kind of tiering, uh, you know, the, the, the new way is uh, you know really using software to be able to really manage it, how it's done. Uh, Nimble does what's called the castle architecture, uh, which we're I'm sure we're going to talk about with Suresh. Uh, and you know, going after you know NetApp's business, going after the VNX business from EMC, um, and you know, they got checkboxes in a lot of categories. John, you must be converged infrastructure. They've got a smart stack. Um, there's a whole lot of places that Nimble does fit into scale out. We're live in Silicon Valley here at Nimble Storage Headquarters in San Jose. Uh, this is theCUBE, we go out to the events, extract the signal noise. Big announcement here with Nimble Software. Stu, I got to talk to you about uh, the company. One, they're public company, they've done well with their performance. The numbers are out in the open, in the, in the public market, so it's a real marketplace. Uh, on, the, on the competition side, there's a lot of private companies that have outrageous valuations, um, mainly in the all-flash array, and they're getting a lot of attention. Now, some say that's not a real market, that's just more of a private equity market. But what, what is the difference between hybrid and all-flash all array, and, what, and can you tease out why uh, what they're doing in this hybrid approach is so important. Yeah, so, so, so John, uh, you're right. Right now, Nimble really you know, plays really well in kind of the fat middle of the market, so that, that mid-range customer, and as flash prices go down, uh, you know, the expected expectation with adaptive flash is that you know, you know, flash is going to be even more a part of it. Uh, so you know, we know that Nimble's going to push higher up into the enterprise. Classic disruption that you, you start a little bit smaller and, and then you go into the bigger accounts. Uh, the Financials, as you said, are real good. Uh, did over 125 million last year, uh, and they've got a 1.7 uh, billion dollar market valuation. So you know they're doing good, good growth. Uh, you know their existing customers are buying uh, more of what they're doing. Uh, so you know it, interesting to see you know where where they're going to go with it today. And, and absolutely, we're going to dig into that uh, discussion of hybrid versus all flash array. You know where's their real revenue? Because you know Nimble's got you know strong revenue and you know good valuation, but not you know over the moon. Stu, I got I got to say to the folks out there, this is a huge Silicon Valley success story in the industry. You're seeing uh, you know, a company that's a durable company, pumping on all cylinders, nimble software, really, really successful here in Silicon Valley. So I got to ask you the, the, where they go next. Obviously with the mid-market being a great great uh, uh, growth driver for the company, um, this should set, set the table pretty well for the channel strategy. Obviously we're hearing from a lot of channel partners out there over the past few years and the past CUBE shows we've been to that they're hungry for solutions. How does this product fit into the channel? Does, is it channel friendly? Do you see an opportunity 
opportunity for Nimble in that regard. Yeah, John, absolutely. Mid-Market is owned by the channel, and every one of the big storage guys are trying to fight for that channel. And Nimble's there. One of the things, John, that's really interesting is if you look at margins, Nimble's actually getting 10 points better than the EMCs and NetApps of the world. So if there's margins, that means there's more money to be able to pay the channel, and we know they're going to operate it out there. Uh, so they're going to be able to make money. And so we talk converged infrastructure is a big opportunity. Uh, the smart stack reference architecture that Nimble has is partnering with Cisco. And of course, we know Cisco's been running away with that convergent market with what they're doing with NetApp, EMC, and starting to spread out to work with you know, a broader and more diverse uh, portfolio of storage partners. The criticism on Nimble has been that they might not have the deep pockets like some of the big players out there throwing money at this market, and also that the all flash arrays are getting attention, specifically from a modern perspective. Flat, all flash is considered, oh, that's real modern, and also the dollars in terms of the big whales that are going to come into this market pretty heavily, like EMC and others. So. Um, we're going to dig into that with the folks here, but what's your take before we get the guests on? Yeah. How do they compete? Is it modern? And how do they compete with the go-to-market? Yeah, so I, I know we'll bring David Floyer on later to really go into what is a modern architecture, but you know, Nimble was founded in 2007, it launched in 2010, so this is a modern architecture. It does fit into scale-out environments. Um, we're starting to see the line blurring between the hybrid guys and the all-flash guys. Uh, T-Gile uh, you know, made an announcement within the last week, and they have a full all-flash version of what they're doing. Um, uh, we'll, we'll see how Nimble's uh, you know environment matches up to what they're doing. Uh, the register actually wrote an article, uh, you, you know, kind of teasing out is you know did T Gile beat Nimble to the punch uh, with kind of this new architecture. So these guys are obviously a diamond in the rough. The question uh, we want to get into in this product announcement: Does this move up market? Do they have the ability to go up market? What does their product portfolio look like? And what are you expecting to hear today from Nimble? Yeah, so so absolutely, John. I mean, every company yes, is going yes, to yes. you know move up market. It's much easier to move up market, especially the, the channel guys are going to want those bigger deals. And customers are buying more from their environment. Uh, you know, and, you know, more repeat customers. That their, their, their deal sizes are going to grow, uh, and they're going to be able to be able to stick on the board. So, so uh, we're here at Nimble Storage in Silicon Valley. We're live, this is theCUBE. We're covering the exclusive product announcement from Nimble Storage. We'll get into it. We don't want to release the, the data too early. They're going to, we're going to go live uh, to the press conference here with all their customers. But Stu, I got to ask you, um, where do they go from here? Can Nimble uh, continue to keep pace with the change of the industry? One of the things that, that is on the mind of customers is, can the vendors, can the technology providers like Nimble move at the pace of the market? Obviously, we have a good market in the sense that the flash prices are coming down. The question is, can the modern infrastructure on a cost perspective through IOPS, throughput, and cost per gigabyte, all those three things are in play, which plays well for this hybrid. What's your take on this, on this landscape of how fast it's shifting and what is Nimble doing and have to do to be competitive? Yes, yeah, so, so, so John, architecturally, I like what Nimble's done. The, the biggest criticism I would say is, you know, Nimble's a storage company and the storage market is changing. Silos are breaking down because the infrastructure is driving change. Uh, at the, the pull of uh, you know storage back into the compute layer, what at Wikibon we call the server sand market, and it's changing things. What VMware is doing with vSAN, uh, what Nutanix is doing, uh, some of these others. Uh, so you know, want to understand how you know Nimble sees the world. When, when you talk to you know a pure storage out there, one that's getting a lot of buzz, you know they say, oh, you know it's, it's not going to go that way. You know it's all flash and it's a separate array, um, and you know fundamentally, you know what is the architecture to build things on Before we get going, so I want to ask you a final question around Nimble. Is it a technology advantage they have, or is it just timing, positioning in the market, product portfolio? What's your take? Is it the engine of, of their technology, or is it the timing of the market and their position in the market? What's your take on that? Yeah, so, so, so John, it, it's interesting. When, when Nimble first launched, they weren't, you know, we are the flash player out there. It was kind of like, oh, here's a new, you know, file architecture built with an iSCSI box. And, you know, today, we're probably barely going to hear iSCSI yeah. versions. Supposedly, uh, you know, by the end of this year, beginning of next year, that also support fiber channel. Not a big deal to customers if you talk to them. It's about performance, it's about your skill set, it's about pricing. Uh, right, it's about that, that software uh, that makes up the component and you know, uh, Nimble definitely has uh, differentiation in the way that they architecture things. Uh, from a scale-out perspective, they've got over, I uh, understand, 1,200 customers really build a scale-out architectures. Uh, so, you know, there, there's a lot of there there. So you see the architecture of the hybrid being a critical thing, also the technology. Yeah, it, right, it, 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 it is a modern architecture. It, it hits the check boxes of what companies should be looking for if they want to make a partner for what they put their data. And, and, and John, more, more than just storage, it's also the backup. Backup's a big piece of it. And like NetApp had before, most of the software is just all in there. Uh, so I don't need to buy a separate box, I don't need to have extra software on top of it. Nimble's going to you know, pull that storage 
primary storage and backup in, in a nice, uh, you know, press office. Well, hybrid's a great word. Obviously, we hear hybrid cloud as a key bridge to the cloud, a lot of the modern enterprise. We should call the cube a hybrid cube. We should create a hybrid cube just to kind of get, get in line with the trends. We're containerizing Yeah. Docker this week. Containers are such a hot topic, too. So how does that fit in? How does, how does cloud fit into what Nimble's doing? How do containers fit in? Uh, you know, is, is there a big data play at all? Because yeah. some, of some storage architectures that really scale out, uh, they should be able to fit analytics and in memory databases and the like. As I always said, we said on theCUBE, you can't fight fashion, and, when, and having a composite architecture like what these guys are doing hybrid really bodes well for what the people want. They want, a, they want an engine that's going to be flexible and adaptive. They call it adaptive flash here, but more importantly, the developers who are writing the software want to have turnkey infrastructure that can be horizontally scalable and also work with open source and other things. So I see a, a great opportunity for the software side of the house, cer certainly on the store. So whoever can create that enablement for horizontally scalable DevOps, cloud, whatnot, that's the winning formula. This is theCUBE, we're live here in Silicon Valley at Nimble Storage for the exclusive product launch. We'll be right back with more exclusive coverage right after this short break.